Good morning, my Geminis. You, it's Tuesday morning. You guys are up. I already losing my voice. That's so strange. Gem, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are Gemini, just feel like being one. It really doesn't matter. I'm just glad you're here. I really am. This could have happened to you in the past, happened to you now, happened to you in the future, or it could happen to someone you know. So keep an open mind. And the messages that um, tend to come out are the ones who, who really need the guidance. So if you're like living the Ten of Cups lifestyle up in a tree somewhere, happy as can be. Look at that, mad rhymes. Well, that is rare. Those kind of messages come out. <laughs> Let me just tell you. Okay, cool. this is a general message. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What needs to come out for the Geminis? What needs to come out for the Geminis? General message. What's your collective energy? What needs to come out? What's that, Gemini? Ooh, death card reverse, Scorpio energy. Having a hard time, if I could talk. You're the first reading, I'm already having trouble. Having a hard time uh, letting something go. Someone could be having a hard time letting you go. Just wanted to say that, that popped in my head. What's influencing this, Gemini? What's influencing this? The three of cups. Ooh, Gemini. This is like a telenovela already. Death reverse and the three of cups. Someone's having enough. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's get clarity here. What's what's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Gemini's? Why is it? My Knight of Swords. I'm feeling like you got a Knight of Swords out of there. What is it, Gemini? The Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles is a very patient card. It's, it is slow moving. If it's a relationship, it could be a slow progression. Somebody's dragging their feet, but it also is a very patient card to, to stay the long course, you know, to stay the long haul. You, you have the patience to hang in there because you know, whatever you're in, you're putting down into the ground is going to have huge effects long-term. That's why the Knight of Pentacles is, I, I really like it. What is in the past? What is in the past for Gemini's? What's in the past? What is in the past? The Hermit, two Virgos already. Are you dealing with the Virgo? Gemini, are you dealing with it? Yeah, Virgo getting, actually this Hermit card is a lot of analyzation. And then we have the Three of Cups right next to it. Now, Three of Cups is normally a really happy card. And in this card, it's keeping those who you can count on in your inner circle. So these three really loyal people are in your inner circle. But we have that death reverse that throws us all off. What is on your mind right now? What is on that air sign mind of yours? What is it? That's on Gemini's mind. The King of Swords reversed. And it's the female card. In this deck, the Kings and the Empress also have female counterparts. So we pulled the female one, but she's reversed. Now, now, I mean, this may not be love, guys. This could be family or friends or co-workers. This could be like a boss that's a tyrant. A King of Swords reverse is a it's it's one of the hardest, harshest kind of personalities in the tarot deck. They are like a tyrant they they're egotistical they're they're just they want they want what they want and they want it now but yet they don't really put the work in so then if they don't get what they want you know they're they're very emotionally abusive this is also a person who the king of swords reverse is somebody who possibly has mental some type of mental disorder could it, it just it's just a, a lot of anxiety but just a, a really like you have to walk on eggshells around this person and maybe that's why this energy is very, very slow. Hermit's analyzation, we got the Three of Cups and then someone not letting it go. It's interesting, but I still think this is, I don't think this is third party. I think this is you keeping those who you can count on very, very close to you. And now it makes sense because you got a King of Swords reverse in your environment. And again, this could be, this could be a mother, a mother-in-law, a sister. I feel, I really feel it's a female. I really feel since I pulled that female King. What is the near future? gems what's the near future what is the near future what is that Ooh, 
lovers. There's your card, Gemini. There is your card and your upright. Do you know how rare that is? I usually pull the signs, major arcana, but it's always reversed. But it's upright. And I feel that's where this Knight of Pentacles, they even look alike. I mean, the colors, the colors even look alike here. I think love-wise, there you you're either you're in something new or you're about to be in something new. You have a supportive friend group. This death reverse and this King of Swords reverse is is highly connected. Remember when I pulled it, I said, I feel like it's someone that can't let you go. Now, if this isn't a female in your life, but it's a male in your life, maybe you were connected to them, married to them. If it was even a boss, maybe, you know, you're having a hard time getting away from them. Love-wise, I think you're there or you're about to be there. But it's just, I, I feel a lot of stress with that. Bottom of the deck, the devil and the nine of pentacles. Now, the nine of pentacles is a, a really great card, but when it's put with the devil, I don't like it. And the tower reversed. Yeah, I don't like it. This is a, I'm feeling this is that king of swords reversed. I'm really feeling it. It's just somebody who's very, very out for their own interest. It's somebody who's very selfish, materialistic. They, they catch you in their, I mean, they're, they spin a web of lives all around them. And you see on the top, she looks like the community librarian. Underneath, she's the community something else. You know what I mean? I mean, you can't trust this person, not as far as you can throw her. Nine of Pentacles, because she's looking out for her own money, her own material things. Ugh, I'm t for, for some of you, it's definitely a female in your environment. Okay, let's keep going. What, or how do you see yourselves right now? How do Gemini see themselves right now? How do Gemini see themselves? The Seven of Cups reverse. You have clarity. Previously confused. I, isn't that a beautiful card? I love that. She's picking the star. Like she knows where to go. You know, and that is true. You know where to go. Knight of Pentacles. She's looking right at this path. Can you guys see the card? Okay, I want to make sure the camera didn't cut it off. This is... I think it's a twofold thing. I think you got clarity on this situation and probably why you need to leave it could very well be a job or, or a family situation. And this Knight of Pentacles is also the Seven of Cups reverse. I think you're really clear on where you need to go. So if this is a job and it's super toxic and you just can't stand to be there one more day, coworkers are probably fine, but I'm guessing it's the boss that's that's the issue. And the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, you're, you are very clear on what you want. Maybe you want to start your own business, put your resumes out there, look for something else, but just very, very clear. But I do think you're keeping a very low profile on this. You're not probably telling a lot of people. You're only telling your inner circle. I love that card. Okay, let's keep going. What is energy coming in to influence this for the Geminis? What's the energy coming in to influence this? What's the energy coming? Ooh. What is the energy coming in to influence us? The sun reverse. Isn't that pretty? Now the sun reverse, you have to try really hard to make this a negative card. It's just a positive card, reverse or not. When it's upright, it's just a lot of, I mean, you are in the midst of this happiness. You are on that path. You're, you're, it's just, you're, you're vibrating very high level. When it's reverse, it's delayed. And it could also be Harry, Harry, this video is not MA. Can you can you knock that off? Thank you, Harry the Capricorn, licking himself over there, making a lot of noise. Okay, so the sun reverse coming in. We will clarify, but what I feel like it's tied to this. This is something like this lovers. I feel like it's a relationship. Now lovers traditionally means the choice and maybe you're making this choice to leave. You're choosing yourself, you're choosing a new path. And that is very true. That could be both, really. I mean, by choosing this relationship, that could be it. And maybe this relationship's pulling you out of this family situation. But I do feel like a lot of this could be work. This really could be work. And this happiness delayed is, I think this person's going to create a problem. King of Swords reverse. That's why this is delayed. And what's delayed this lovers? This happiness. But I feel like you're walking on eggshells around this person. It's just that kind of energy. Okay, Oop. four of pentacles reverse wanted to come out and I didn't ask the question yet. What's in your emotions right now, Gemini? What's in your emotions? What's in Gemini's emotions? 
the emperor taking control of your life i like it i like it you that i'm i can't even speak you in the past analyzed a certain situation probably whatever this was you can't do it anymore you just can't do it anymore maybe you even found something out there if it was love maybe they're dealing with others if it was a tyrant boss maybe they were talking behind you know talking about you behind your back to co-workers and maybe they let you know i mean i do feel like these people have your back they're in you know they're close to you and I feel like you're walking on eggshells and you're, you, it's just kind of like you're going around this person to, you got clarity, you know what you want, you're going to take control of your life, but you're just trying to gently get around this person just to create as less problems as possible. What is the outcome? What's the outcome here? What's the outcome for Gemini? What is it? What is the outcome? The Knight of Cups reverse. That's the King of Swords reverse, guys. Knight of Cups reverse is your inappropriate lover card. This, if this isn't a lover, if this is a boss, if this is a friend, if this is a family member, this is somebody who just doesn't show up for you. This is per, a person who talks the talk but doesn't walk the walk. You know, they say they're going to show up and they don't. They say they're going to call and they don't. And then you find something out with the hermit under deep analyzation. You probably pulled yourself away and I, you know. To, to get a handle on what's going on here and you found out that this person's just it's just a very disloyal card very disloyal it's in the outcome which is interesting which makes me think because it look it's right next to this king of swords reverse if this is a person you were in a relationship with there yeah it's an inappropriate lover you know they they had other people maybe you found out they were married it's something along those lines you took big ass control of your life you're getting out of there but i don't think you want to fight with this person i just feel like you you know i you had hope there but i mean this now this is interesting this lovers though this feels like something new again four pentacles reversed twice now it's release, releasing the unbalance, releasing the, the knee, you know, where I feel like maybe this person felt they were, our, our, I can't even talk. They were always judging you, eyes on you. And may, that's the King of Swords reverse and a Knight of Cups reverse. It's just, they want it their way. And they probably, you know, if this is someone you lived with, they were checking your phone. They were, it was just very defensive because, they, you know, they were probably cheating. So Gemini's probably cheating too. And it just caused a lot of imbalance. But the good thing is you're releasing that, probably kicking them out or you're leaving that, that home. Because Ten of Swords reversed. You are done. Stick another fork in me. I am done. Okay. What are we clarifying with Gemini? We, that was a long base reading. 13 minutes. Okay, it's because you're my first reading. My first readings are always the longest until I warm up. And I got three more to go. And a huge storm's coming in. And lately we've been losing power. So I gotta I gotta hurry it up. Okay. Three of Cups. What is this for Gemini? What is this death reverse in the three of cups? Death reverse in the three of cups for Gemini. Death reverse in the Three of Cups. What is that? Reverse in the Three of Cups. Ooh, there you are. You and Virgo. Are you dealing with a Virgo? We have Virgo. We have Virgo. We have Virgo. Any more Virgo? Any more? I think that's it. Okay, but it's you and Virgo, your major arcana card. The magician. This King of Swords reverse, I feel like stripped your confidence. They, it just, it's a mentally abusive card, and they, they just made you feel not worthy. If this was a boss, you couldn't do anything right. As they stuff their, their workload onto you, it's just like, I'm not going to give you a raise, or I'm going to give you a hard time because you keep screwing up. But, but can you do all of my work as, as well? And I will not give you the credit or pay you for it. it and it's just, it's meant. You just have somebody really mentally abusive in your environment. Magician is you realize you're too good for the situation. You're too good for it. You They don't deserve you because you're just too good for them. Relation, if this is a job, love, whatever it is, you're just too good for them. And I just feel like this is this the last the last straw is what broke the camel's back in this situation. Whatever they did last, I think you just got out of there. 
What is this Knight of Pentacles for Gemini? Gemini, the reason for the reading. What is the Knight of Pentacles? What is that? Knight of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed is repeating the same patterns, feeling stuck. Do you ever feel like you're living the same lessons? Do you feel like you keep going, you know, the same, you just keep getting the same types of relationships, maybe with different people. It could be love. It could be, it could have started with family and friends. It, it's just, re, it's, it's patterns. And Wheel of Fortune Reverse could definitely be family patterns and breaking the cycle. I feel like this is you breaking the cycle. And Knight of Pentacles is no matter how long it takes, I will succeed. No longer, no long, how long it takes or how far I go, you're on the move. No matter how slow the progression is, you don't care as long as you're moving forward because you're really clear in where you need to go. This, she's picked a path and she's going. That's why it's reversed because you're really clear on this. You're no longer confused. But that's, the, oh, hold on a minute. Okay, what is this hermit here in the past? What is the hermit card in the past? For Gemini, what is this hermit? And the Empress. Yeah, you're too good for this. A hermit is pulling yourself away. You probably worked on yourself because the Empress is also when you have been working on yourself and you just, it, it, it's really nice. I mean, you, you the confidence is there. You recognize your abilities. You recognize what you have to offer. And I feel like that's why it's with the hermit. It's just like you pulled yourself away. Probably you did work on yourself, but I think you got your mental, like you cleared out that mental attic is what I feel while you were analyzing this. And, and I think that this is what spurred this magician. And I feel like the three of cups, I really feel like this is a supportive energy. I think people are, are behind you because we have the wheel of fortune reverse and we have the death reverse. I feel like you've been stuck in this cycle getting mentally abused, being torn down over and over. And there's just something got into you under your skin and just say, I am done. And I just feel like it's this huge energy push to get you out of this. What is this King of Swords reverse on your mind? What is this King of Swords reverse on your mind? What is the King of Swords reverse on your mind, on Gemini's mind? What is that? Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse. <laughs> Queen of Wands reverse, I, this is going to be two things. If you, this is someone you are dealing with, you, if you've watched tarot, you probably know what a Queen of Wands reverse is. If you are married to this person, this is probably the other woman. This is also an energy that's disloyal. It's an energy that suffers from, they suffer from, well, even if it's you or them, it's, it's self-esteem issues and lack of confidence. So they withdraw and they pull themselves away. And but if it's with the king of swords reverse they're pulling themselves away and i mean no 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 if i can i have so many thoughts trying to get out of my mouth at once okay so the king of swords reverse suffers probably from some type of mental illness i mean that is the one card that and king of cups reverse um and the two cards in the tarot deck that talk about that and the queen of wands reverse can can as well, but I feel like it's more of a situational thing. It could be a hormonal thing. I am not a doctor. I don't even know why I'm going down this path. But yeah, with the King of Swords reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, this is somebody who has self-esteem issues. So they kind of, they don't know how to handle their emotions and they let their emotions override them and they're, they get out of control really quick. They blow up really quick. They have these meltdowns really quick. And I think you have been in this cycle with this person for a long time. And I feel like you've, you've, you've kind of pulled yourself away and you don't even, you can't even speak about it, you know, cause you're afraid of a big blow up. So you kind of keep your thoughts to yourself, but something's getting you out of there. Look at this ace of wands and eight of swords reverse and the justice. It could be a divorce and you got out of there. It's a new beginning. It's, it's getting this balance back, the justice card. And it's it, justice, eight of swords reverse. It's just like, you're no longer holding yourself back mentally. And it could all be because of this lovers. It could be a new relationship pulling you out. It could, it doesn't necessarily mean love. It could be another job. It could be another friend, somebody really saying, look, Gemini, this isn't healthy. We got to get you out of here. Yeah. Some, I feel like somebody saved the day here. What is the lovers in the near future? What is that? 10 of wands. I think that's how you see that though. 10 of wands. Oh, what is that? Three of swords. No, 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 Gemini. 
what did I just said? I feel like this is somebody who has seen you go through this, seen you stuck, and I feel like they're helping you out. This is what they've seen. You, Ten of Wands and Three of Swords. You've been in this painful cycle so long that this person's coming, and it could be just a friend. It really could be. But yeah, Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This is a lot of burden. This is a lot of heartache. This is somebody who... This is somebody who needs a break, you know? You need to, to put this this down. And I think you are. I really think you are because we have the emperor here. This is taking control of your life. That's why the sun reverses here. Happiness may not be here yet, but you're at least on this path, right? With the knight of pentacles. And emperor again at the bottom of the deck and eight of pentacles reverse. No longer working on it, dropping the burden and going. It's just a lot of control you're taking. What is the seven of cups reverse for Gemini? How they see themselves? What is the Seven of Cups reverse for Gemini? The devil. You're no longer confused on what, Gemini? Who you've been dealing with? Toxic. I don't even feel like you just saw something. I think you've known something. I just don't think you've wanted... I think you've been afraid. And I feel like this Ten of Wands is their burdens. Because you've been trying to make their lives easier. Because you want to try to make your life easier. Because not that they give you credit for helping them out. But if you didn't help them out, it would be a lot worse. Bottom of the deck with the devil, because you know you, you don't need this person in your life. Queen of Pentacles, she can do it all. Magician realizes they can do it all. The Empress realizes they are all, you know. There's a lot of realization about how strong you are. What is the sun reverse coming in, the energy coming in to influence us? Sun reverse. Oh, I, got a, I just got a feeling on that card. Seven of Wands, yeah. You're tired of fighting for this. This Seven of Wands that's influencing this, I think the perspective of what you've thought is you realize you haven't had happiness in a very long time. I don't even I don't even know if you ever had happiness with this King of Swords reverse kind of fellow or or gal. I don't even think you have, but I think you had hope that they would change or you had maybe you felt they made not that you felt, but they tried to make you feel like you are the cause of their grief. That's why I feel almost could be parent that you're the cause of, it's just a person out of control who's abusive and then they blame their victims. But the sun reverses, I just don't think you've had a lot of happiness here, ever. But you realize, I think you realize with the empress and the magician and even this devil card is what you've been carrying. This is what you've been carrying, Gemini. I mean, how does that look? Devil, 10 of wands and three of swords. You could have this or you could have this, right? But you have to do this. You have to you have to move away no matter how hard no matter how long how slow it takes because now you have clarity on the situation so you have no choice but to take full control of your life with the emperor now the nine of cups reverse will clarify but that is very very interesting that is very very interesting seven of wands too on the sun reverse is this person is doesn't let people in this person thinks everybody's out to get them. They have a, they, they just, they have a very distorted view of themselves. I don't think they have a great self-esteem, but they portray themselves as all that. They do, they do. And that nobody really deserves them. But I don't think they, they feel, I just feel inside they feel worthless. They're, they're so damaged. They're really broken and damaged and they just don't let people in. They're very defensive. They're, they're very, I do feel like they suffer from anxiety. Okay, let's move on. What is this emperor and your emotions? What's the emperor and Gemini's emotions? What is the emperor doing here? Ten of swords. Because you're done. You took control of your life. I saw that before. And the, oh, right here. Ten of swords. Releasing this. You are releasing the burden of carrying. I feel like it's reversed because you, you can't get out of it. But you're releasing it and therefore you are getting out of it. But yeah, taking control of your life because I do feel like whatever they did, this last thing was final. This was a final blow. Nine of Cups reversed for Gemini. What's the Nine of Cups reversed? And the outcome, why is it there? Why is the Nine of Cups reversed there for Gemini? What's the Nine of Cups reversed about? There you are, lovers. That's interesting though. Okay, give me another card. I feel usually when I clarify, it talks past energy that leads up to it, but I feel like that's post. 
Oh, okay, hold on. That Nine of Cups reversed could be a, a not being able to convey your emotions. Like if you, this is somebody, let's just say this is somebody you're interested in. Maybe this damaged you so much and you need a break. Maybe you're just not ready to move forward with that person. You're, you, it's just like you can't even talk about it. I feel like you're so traumatized. It's like you just need a, a time to heal and get your balance back. But what is that? Knight of Cups reversed. And the lovers. What is that? Because initially I felt like it could be this person not letting you go. What is that? Yes, yeah, Six of Wands. Gemini. I feel this lovers and Six of Wands is that person. This person. I, they they want they want you, Gemini. They want you. Six of Wands and lovers. Leo and you. They know what they want. They know what they want. I just don't know if you're ready. I don't, this is really, I don't, if this hasn't happened to you yet, keep an open mind because this is predictive. But that Nine of Cups reverse could be you. It's like, I'm feeling, it's so strange. I'm feeling you and this King of Swords reverse on this card. It's you not being able to move forward in love, right? You, you, because you just need a break. You need to, to understand this. You're still getting control of your life. You might even be looking for other jobs or moving and it's just not the time. But this person I think has been watching you, seeing what's been going on with you. They're waiting for you. Maybe they're, if this is a friend that with this three of cups, I think this could be a friend turning into a lover and when you're ready, they're there for you. But the Knight of Cups reverse, you you dealt with a player. If this, if this King of Swords reverse is somebody you're like, romantically connected to you were dealing with a player you're just not ready to put your heart out there not, i mean look at knight of cups reverse she's she plays with people's hearts and i feel like your heart got played with so you that's why also with the sun reverse you not that you're saying no to this person it's just give me a minute you know it's like give me a minute I think you know there's happiness with this person that's why the sun is reversed i just think you need to get yourself together you have to pull yourself out of this. Maybe work on, just work on your overall balance and clear this energy. Most importantly, you have to clear this energy. I really at first thought maybe this person's coming back with a death reverse, king of swords reverse, but no, I, I don't think so. I think they're too high on their, they're, they're so ego, they're an egomaniac that I just, I don't think they would. But yeah, with the knight of cups reversed, I think it's just healing from getting your heart played. But this person, Gemini, I'm telling you, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is someone I feel like you know. This is somebody in your environment who's watched you go through this, who's there for you. It's like a friend, a friend turned to a lover kind of thing. And an ace of pentacles. Oh my gosh. It is a new beginning and this is good. This feels really, really positive. Maybe Gemini, you needed this, not that you wanted this, but you needed this to really show you what you really, what you can have. This you had to go through. Maybe it's a lesson. Maybe it's just a karmic lesson that, that uh, maybe in the past life you did it to them and then they're doing it to you. And it's this weird subconscious thing that goes on and it's it's done i just feel like it's a contract that's now done you dealt with them and they re highlighted what you don't want in your life they highlighted what you don't need in your life so you can really truly see what you do want and need when it comes in and this feels really solid really really good but gemini that is what i have for you guys this week i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and i'll see you next week guys take care